Hello, I'm Akash, a Cloud Support Associate here at the AWS office in Bangalore, India. Today I'm going to show you how to enable time-based, one-time password, multi-factor authentication for the users of your application. Let's get started. Because of the potential for online fraud and data breaches, customers ask me how they can add an extra layer of security in the user's account of their application using Amazon Cognito. Amazon Cognito is a service that provides user authentication and management. It also provides multi-factor authentication or MFA, which is the process of identifying a user by validating two or more claims presented by the user, each from a different category of factors. There are various methods for implementing multi-factor authentication and the time-based one-time password algorithm, that is TOTP authentication is one of them. In the case of TOTP, the user is asked to scan a QR image or a secret code with a specific smartphone application. That application then continuously generates the one-time password code for the user, which they need to give at the time of login to access their account. This code is usually time-based and it continues rotating. Enabling TOTP in Amazon Cognito user pools is a multi-step process. We must perform some steps both in the Amazon Cognito service and at the application level as well. We will first perform the step that are needed to be performed at the Amazon Cognito end through the AWS Management Console. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the Amazon Cognito Console. Then choose the Manage User Pool button. For this demo, I will be creating a new user pool with the default configurations. If you want, you can also use an existing user pool that doesn't have any MFA option enabled. Click on Create a User Pool button. Type a name for your user pool. Click on Review Default. Scroll down and click on Create Pool. If we navigate to the attributes section now, we can see that the username is set as the method to sign up and sign in and that the email is required attribute in the default configuration. We also need to add an app client for our user pool. I'm creating a new app client. Again, if you want, you can use an existing one. To create an app client, navigate to the app client section. Click on add an app client. Type a name for your app client. Click on Create App Client. For additional configuration of the App Client, navigate to App Client Setting. Tick mark Cognito User Pool. Set up a callback and a sign out URL for the App Client. I'm putting Amazon.com for the demo. Configure the client with both authorization and implicit flows. Also, I'm checking all the scopes for the demo. Click on Save Changes. Now, for enabling TOTP MFA, navigate to MFA and Verification Setting under the General Setting tab. By default, the MFA field is disabled and its value is set to false. We can set its value either to optional or required. Note a few things here. Due to design, the MFA can only be set as required during the creation of user pool. Also, when the MFA method is changed to optional required, it cannot be turned off. For this demo, I will be setting the MFA option to optional, as it gives the user the flexibility to opt in for the TOTP at their own convenience. In the second factor setting, tick mark the time-based one-time password option. Finally, to save the configuration, choose the Save Configuration button at the bottom of the page. And that's all we need to do at the Amazon Cognito end. Now, we need to configure our application that has a custom UI to provide the user with an option to enable the MFA. We also need to configure the application so that it makes the following API calls in the background using any supporting AWS SDK or library whenever the user opts for the TOTP MFA. 
The first API call is Associate Software Token API. This API call takes the access token of the user as an input. On successful execution, it returns a secret code. The secret code generated is used by a TOTP generating app such as Google Authenticator, which will be used to generate the OTP. The next API call is Verify Software Token. When you enter the secret code generated by the Associate Software Token API call in the previous step into a TOTP generating app, the API returns an OTP. We need to provide this OTP as an input to the Verify Software Token API call. On successful execution, this API will return a success status. Now, the final API call is set user MFA preference or the admin set user MFA preference. If you are handling this process at the client side, you can use the set user MFA preference or otherwise admin set user MFA preference for the server side. Both the API calls updates the MFA preference of the user. So, the next time the user tries to log in, Amazon Cognito will return an MFA challenge which the user need to respond to by entering the TOTP OTP generated by the TOTP application. So, if I go to the hosted UI by using the URL in the browser, we can see the default hosted UI page. Once these API calls are made successfully and the second factor authentication is enabled for the users, they can use the hosted UI for authenticating into the application using their username and password and software MFA code that you see in the Google Authenticator. For example, I have a user in the user pool that's configured for TOTP as the MFA method. Once the TOTP configured user enters the username and password, they will see the prompt asking for their TOTP software token. On successful authentication, the user is directed to the callback URL. Additionally, I've created a sample custom application using Angular and the AWS Amplify JavaScript library. This is the user dashboard of the application which is displayed when the user logs in into the application successfully. Here in the dashboard, the user has the option to opt in for the TOTP. If the user goes for this, in the background, AWS Amplify makes the first API call, that is, the associate software token API call using the odd.setup.totp method and the user is prompted with a secret code. I have converted that secret code into a barcode so that the user can scan this and the TOTP application can directly cache the secret code. Now, the user needs to use a TOTP generating app such as Google Authenticator which will be used to generate the OTP. For this demo, I am using Google Authenticator. I have already scanned the barcode. The secret code generated by the API call is automatically entered. I'm putting this code into the application again. The application in the background is making the Verify Software Token API call using the odd.verify TOTP token method of the Amplify library. Also, in the application code itself, if the TOTP verification process is executed successfully, I have made the set user MFA preference API call using the odd.set preferred MFA method to set the MFA preference as TOTP for the user. Now, if I try to log in again into the application using the username and password, Amazon Cognito will return the software token MFA challenge. We need to configure our custom application so that it can handle the challenge and respond to the same. We can use the respond to auth challenge or admin to respond to auth challenge API call to provide MFA code as a challenge response. While using AWS Amplify, this process is handled by odd.signin method. The application has now asked me to enter the TOTP OTP. Here I enter it. And bingo, I am successfully logged in. For more information about authentication using AWS Amplify and for example code snippet, refer to the AWS Amplify authentication module. Also, the application code for the sample app that I demonstrated is available on GitHub as a reference. You can find the link for the information in the article with the video. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.